Hey guys, safety is everyone for checking in. This is Road to the Dome. Welcome to the All-American Bowl's Road to the Dome. I'm Corey Robinson. Each year, the All-American Bowl celebrates the absolute best in high school football. From Tim Tebow to Brian Brzee, and Patrick Peterson to Spencer Rattler. The Alamo Dome in San Antonio is where America is first introduced to the football stars of tomorrow. Where are you going to play your college football? We're hitting the road to visit communities all across the nation to honor this year's athletes who have been named to the 2022 All-American Bowl. We'll take an inside look at these athletes as they try on their All-American jerseys for the very first time and hear from some of them as they tell us just how it feels to join the elite list of athletes who have come before them. We'll also check in with 24-7 Sports as they provide some insight on these top athletes. Now, let's meet this week's All-Americans. Tight end, Oscar Dell. Defensive lineman, Deny Dennis Sutton. Wide receiver, Keon Grays. Offensive lineman, Carson Hinsman. Defensive back, Xavier Wankpa. And offensive lineman, Billy Shrouth. This is Brandon Huffman, National Recruiting Editor for 24-7 Sports, and we're taking a look at the newest invitees to the All-American Bowl in this week's Road to the Dome. A top 100 player from the Peach State, coming West Forsyth tight end Oscar Delp is a blend of elite pass catcher mixed with flourishing inline blocker. The 6'5", 220-pounder started his high school career as a wide receiver, so that pass-catching part of his game came naturally with Delp a good route runner possessing strong hands and great body control. Since he started out as a receiver, blocking was a learned trait for him, but he's grown immensely in that part of the game and shows a nice edge to his game with his physicality as a blocker. But make no mistake, what makes Delp shine is his ability to get open, catch passes, turn up field, and get into the end zone. Georgia, Michigan, and South Carolina have all gotten visits while Alabama and Clemson are still in the mix, but Georgia right now is looking like the team to beat. One of the premier pass rushers nationally is Maryland native Danny Dennis Sutton. The Owings Mills McDonough edge rusher is a long athletic prospect who can slide inside and be a three tech or stay on the edge and use his moves and speed to get around offensive tackles. His first step is cat quick, and it gives him an advantage against offensive alignment. Then you throw in his ability to disengage with his blockers on the off chance that they can get their hands on him, and he can render their blocking move pretty quickly. Dennis Sutton possesses tremendous body control, stays on his feet, can redirect, and pursue on the backside to get to the quarterback or to the running back. James Franklin of Penn State welcomed his commitment to the Nittany Lions this summer as he's headed to Penn State. Arizona is home to one of the most dynamic and explosive playmakers in the country in Chandler, Arizona receiver Kyan Graves. Graves excels in getting separation, getting himself open with his burst at the line of scrimmage and pristine route ready to enable his quarterbacks to find him in the open field. His hands are a strength, as is his ability to flash excellent body control and adjust the passes thrown anywhere in his catch radius. As twitchy as he is, that's not his only strength. He's a technician in his routes and as he continues to get stronger, he will be a problem for defenders to cover in college. Grays is headed to one of the most talented receiver rooms in the country with his springtime commitment to Ryan Day and the Ohio State Buckeyes. If you're looking for versatility in your offensive lineman, look no further than Hammond, Wisconsin, St. Croix's offensive lineman, Carson Hinsman. A career that has seen him play every spot in high school, tackle, guard, and center, Hinsman projects best inside in college. He has an optimal frame for a high school lineman with room to put on more weight and gain strength, but he already has the athleticism necessary to translate to the next level. Given his basketball background, you can see the footwork and the balance he holds from his years in the paint. 
He's very technically sound with only needing to get stronger. Depending on the needs of where he signs, he can play any of a number of spots that we eventually think is inside as either a guard or as a center. Home State Wisconsin is in a battle right now to keep him in state with Ohio State, Iowa, and Minnesota making this a Big Ten contest. The top player in the state of Iowa, Pleasant Hill Southeast Polk's Xavier Longfa is also 24-7 sports top safety in the 2022 class. At six foot two and a half, 200 pounds, Wonka is the size college coaches covet in their safety with the range, closing speed, and the ball skills to be an instant impact performer at the next level. He quickly diagnoses plays. He can come up to the box to stuff the run or keep himself downfield to break up passes or pluck them out of the air. Wonka is utilized at times as a pass rusher, and you can see that he routinely can get into the backfield to bring down the quarterback if that's what's called upon or he's got that physicality to knock over a running back and end the run play pretty quickly. When he's in pass coverage, though, is where he shines. You can see the elite cover skills with his game-changing ball skills. And it's those same ball skills that translate over to the offensive side of the ball as a receiver, as well as into the return game as both a kick returner and a punt returner that makes him a threat to score every time he touches the ball. Notre Dame, Ohio State, and home state Iowa are all pushing to land the nation's top safety. Wisconsin is home to a number of elite offensive linemen every year with the second Badger State big man invited to the All-American Bowl in Fond du Lac, St. Mary Springs, Billy Schroff, headed to San Antonio. The 6'5", 285-pounder is another versatile trench resident who can play out of tackle or slide inside to play guard, which is where he likely projects in college. He's got the power, the strength, the hand usage, and the feet to make him one of the more technically sound linemen in the Midwest in his class. He also plays along the defensive line for his high school team, and you can see high level ability on defense from him. But with his frame and other attributes, we think the offensive line is where his future is. Notre Dame, Wisconsin, and Ohio State are all making their case for Schroff to sign with them. Well, that's it for this week. For 24-7 Sports, I'm Brandon Huffman, and we'll see you next week on The Road to the Dell. My name is Oscar Dell. I'm a senior tight end at West Side High School. Uh, in Georgia. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who supported me and invested in me throughout the years and helped me get to where I am. Uh, I grew up watching this game and it's a dream come true to finally say that uh, I'm going to be able to play in this game. Uh, I'd like to thank God, my family, my coaches, my teachers, my teammates, my friends, and my uh, the amazing community and uh, fan base around here. Uh, I can't wait to get to San Antonio and showcase my skills and compete with the best players in the country. Dennis Sutton, class of 2022, defense van at McDonough School. My name is Keon Gray. I go to Chandler High School. I play wide receiver. I'm committed to Ohio State. And I just wanted to thank everybody around me, my mom, my dad, for being my first coach and my mentor, uh, my coaches over here for being great mentors to me and teaching me a lot about the game of football. And I want to thank my teammates that's in front of me for putting me in the best position possible every day I practice. So I really appreciate you guys. And this is a jersey. this, all the legendary players will magically appear and we'll have sports again. I call it the field of fame. Of course, I'll have to tear down the garage, fill in the pool and lose the trees. So can I get a loan? So as your friend, I love it, but as your banker, not so much. Let me talk to the friend. You could always invest in a college fund. No. 
Wow, my kids aren't going to college. They're going to work at the stadium. Our kids are going to college. Sports are back. My wife wants to build a college. And not a moment too soon. What if I told you about a kid who saw possibilities? Dunking on 10-foot rims by age 15. High school player of the year, twice. Ben went off to college, D1, top shelf. Number one draft pick, rookie of the year, and MVP in the same year. Won two golds. Won the MVP again. Won a ring. To some, the name is Candace. To others, it's Ace. The All-American Bulls Road to the Dome is brought to you by U.S. Bank and Visit San Antonio. Hi there, my name is John Tackman, head football coach here at St. Croix Central High School. It's an honor for me to introduce Mr. Carson Hinsman and present him with the All-American Bowl box. This is Gus Ramos from the All-American Bowl, and this is our Gatorade Refueling Stop of the Week. Tonight, I am joined by one of the most coveted prospects in the entire country, Oscar Dell from the state of Georgia. Oscar, how does it officially feel to be a 2022 All-American? It's awesome. Man. It's, it's a dream come true. I've grown up watching this game and all the great players that have come out of it and um, all the players that have committed to it this year, and I'm excited to get to San Antonio and play with everyone. You obviously play tight end. We've had guys like Greg Olson, Vernon Davis, and Michael Mayer, who's doing his thing at Notre Dame, all playing the game. What is it going to be like for you now to have your name attached alongside all those great players? Yeah, it's it's super cool. I mean, it's just just having my last name up there with all those great guys is just it's it's a really good feeling. Um, getting to watch those guys every Saturday and every Sunday uh, over the years is just it's really special, and it just means I have to keep uh, getting better and prove that I'm worthy. I got to ask, I was talking to my man, Tony Ballard from Hustle Link, and he was telling me there's about six of you guys are going to play in the bowl together this year. What is it going to be like for you guys to finally play a full padded game together as opposed to seven on seven? I mean, I think it's going to be, it's going to be a lot different, but, uh, the same, but also really similar. I mean, uh, we're all really good friends and uh, we got good chemistry, but with the pads on, I think we're going to be a lot better than uh, just running around out there. I mean, everyone likes kind of hitting and, uh, really making plays on the field. So uh, we're, we got that good chemistry, and I think uh, a lot of the big plays are going to come from the Hustle Link squad. I know. I can't wait, and neither can Tony. So you guys do your thing on the East team. Your boys with Gunnar Stockton. He's verbally committed to the Bulldogs. What has this pitch been to you to come join him in Athens? Yeah, I mean, uh, they got something special going on right there. I mean, uh, they've got a really good recruiting class right now, and everything that George has done this season is really big. And uh, he's just kind of telling me that he wants me to be a part of that with him. I was scrolling through Twitter a couple of weeks ago after one of your games, and I saw the clip of you hurdling, buddy, in the middle of the game. What was that like, and what was your reaction to that? Yeah, I mean, it was it was a good play, but I got flagged for it. So I guess in Georgia they don't let you hurdle. So, uh, but in the All American Bowl, hopefully, hopefully they let that slide. We're definitely gonna have to get the green light from the referee because if you can do that in the game on national television, I know everyone's gonna go nuts. Well, Oscar, once again, congratulations. Can't wait to see you guys all do your thing January 8th on NBC. I'm sure we'll talk again soon, man. Take care. Thank you. 
What's up? This is Janaris Robertson with the Minnesota Vikings. Welcome to the 2022 All-American Bowl, Young Stars. Take advantage of every opportunity because it'll fly by. But most importantly, have fun. Congrats, fellas. Once again, congratulations and welcome to each of our All-Americans. Be sure to follow us on the road to the Dome as we continue to meet this year's athletes every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on the NBC Sports YouTube channel. Don't miss this year's All-American Dream Preview Special where we'll share the stories of some of this year's athletes both on and off the field airing Sunday, January 2nd on NBC. And of course, you can catch all these athletes in action at the 2022 All-American Bowl from San Antonio, Texas on Saturday, January 8th, live on NBC and Peacock. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.